How you doing guys so i'm what day is it it is sunday so i'm just going through my amazon deliveries um i've got all security stuff i've got gadgets so i'll talk you through what i'm putting on the boat what extras i put on the boat and why i put them on the boat so let's unpackage some amazon so what i do with all this packaging is uh I keep as much of it as I can, either reuse it, um, burn it, and use it as kind of like, uh, just to get the fire started. So yeah, I think that's the thing about this life for me, with uh, making the transition between sort of, you know, concrete jungle and town life to this kind of more nomadic, more sustainable life. I think for me, um, what I love is just the idea of like the hardship of it almost, you know, the hardship of having to think about where your next sort of water tank is coming from and think about, you know, like collecting wood when you're on the dog walk and picking food when you, you know, when you're foraging. I've always been like it, always been like it. Um, I was brought up in a council state, so completely the opposite to how I was brought up. But my heart's always been the countryside and all things outdoors, I just love it. Go for a walk, collect some, Get some twigs, you know, get some wood, anything you can make to build a fire, um, you know, that sort of thing. Food you find on the way, berries, you know, just and, and research stuff, things that you can eat. And if you're not sure, go home, research it and go back and pick it. You know, I love all of that. But yeah, the concept for me is even stuff like this, basic Amazon boxes, chopping them up into small pieces of cardboard that I can then store away and then if I do run out of anything like fire lighters, I've got the perfect natural fire lighter. So that's that's the idea for me. Um, and that's part of the joy. I love it. I was with my friend the other day and uh, she said to me, you do make me laugh. We were on a dog walk and I said, oh, I'm looking for wild garlic. I mean, you know, the, the, the golden ball will be truffles, but I can't teach Dolly to find truffles. I mean, she doesn't even play fetch, let's be honest. But um, so we'll come back to truffle finding. But as far as, you know, foraging, I said to my friend, oh, I'm going to look for some wild garlic. I love wild garlic. When you know what you're looking for, it's really obvious. Um, and when you don't know what you're looking for, you, you think you found it everywhere and you haven't. And uh, yeah, and I was like, oh, I'm going to buy some, I can get some wild garlic and I'll do some pesto. And I'll also put some um, garlic butter, but we'll put it in the freezer, wrap it up into a, almost like a sausage shape. And you can just freeze it and come back to it whenever you need it. You know, nice, nice sourdough, that'd be beautiful. And she went, babe, there's a Lidl over the road. Why don't you go and buy some pesto at Lidl? And I was like, <laughs> you just don't get it. I mean, you either love this life or you don't. Um, I've always been a bit of a, a traveller at heart, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, it does make me laugh how two minds think, you know. Make, spend the whole day getting like creative and crafty and you can make tea in the kitchen with me whilst I make her some nice lunch, the romance of it. Or she's like, just skip over the road to Aldi or Lidl. It's just easier, isn't it? I'm like, who said romance is dead? <laughs> so in Amazon box number one, we have a little spice rack. I love my cooking. And since I've been sort of between renting and or out of renting and not waiting, you know, waiting for the boat, it's just been a bit here and there, really. So I've been eating crap food, like beige food, like, you know, just petrol station meal deals. You know, when you're just in a mindset of just, you're just in a middle ground. You haven't got a kitchen you can cook from. I'm always working late hours. I'm, I'm trying to get as much work through to fund the boat life. Um, and uh, anyway, long and short of it, I, was, I couldn't wait to get into this boat and get up a nice spice rack. Um, yeah, and just get creative with my cooking and... 
I'm very kind of like, the same way Jay Milliver is, very like pinched at this in a, you know, a, a big sort of sharing board. I love, I love cooking like that. So I'm gonna, I need to decide if I'm gonna put this spice rack on the wall or one that I'm just gonna stack up and put it on the side. Equally, as much as I love a good working kitchen, I'm very minimalistic. So I'm going for floating cottage vibes. So homely, but not overkill. So I'm gonna, I'll get it out, I'll give you a show. Pretty cool, comes with like a little funnel where you can just pour your spices through. All these little jars are actually plastic, so if you do break them, which I've only just dropped half of them, so that's good. Also, which I thought was really good, were these little stickers. So they have like all the main things, you'll normally have chili powder, chives, bay leaves, and then you've got plain ones as well that you can just write whatever you want on them as well. And it's got a little clearing out brush. Um, it's also got a wall bracket fittings as well. So I think this is like 25 quid. Again, let me know if you want, I mean, I obviously get nothing for this, but um, but just, I think if, I like to share the knowledge. If you find something you love or find something that's useful, yeah, I just think share the, share the love. So I think it was about 25 quid. It comes with four rows, the other rows in there. Um, you can stack them up or you can stick it on the wall. I think I'll, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do yet, we'll find a place. But this is where I'm a little old man because all these little things make me happy. You know, everyone my age is an IB for and getting off the nut. Where actually, you know, I did that at 15, to be fair. And up until about well, for 50, 15 years I did that for. So uh, I'm just happy in my own little way, in my own little world, with me roses and me, uh, and me spice jars. I mean, rock and roll, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've just thought of a genius idea. So, spice rack over here on the side, on the shelf, whatever. Rather than cut up the box, I'm gonna stick all my backup spices in here. So there obviously will be stuff that's opened and I'll just put a little peg on them, I think, and use as like a bit of an overflow. Cause I mean, that's how we roll, you know? Yeah, a little overflow, that'll sit in the cupboard underneath there, nice and neat. That'll do. So he's buying another plastic bin, doesn't it? So he's buying a plastic, Container. Gonna be here a while, I think, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Couldn't get the 16 spice, had to get the maximum one. Go hard or go home, that's what they say. What I'm thinking is these little bags will come in handy too. So I'll keep them. It's, uh, it's amazing, when you're in a normal home and you're in a normal house, you, you just chuck stuff in the bin or recycling and you think you've done your bit. And, don't get me wrong, I'm not some sort of eco-warrior. You know, good luck to those people. But I think it, what I like about this already, this new lifestyle, is you just have to think a bit more. So I'm sort of thinking, right, I could just chuck that box away. In a few weeks time, I'll need a box, no doubt. And you never have a box if you need one. Or I'll use some of the boxes and I'll, I'll chop them into like little tiny pieces and I'll make them into fuel. And I'll just keep packing it away for the winter. I'll just keep like a little hamster burrowing away all my spare cardboard, and all my boxes and all the things I'd normally not even think about, chuck away and you know, and just it's, I'm already, it's amazing how the change is already happening in my brain where I'm just so aware of like, you know, rubbish and um, and not even like, you know, it's like what would I do with the rubbish? Like I'm at Marina now, but in a few weeks time, I'm not gonna be at Marina. And if I'm just chucking away everything that comes through this boat and goes straight back out, there aren't bins on the towpath. I, I won't just have bins. You've got to take your rubbish, keep it on your boat in bin bags until you get to a rubbish point. And that could be two, three miles away, five miles away, but by boat, which is, that could be a couple of hours. So it's good practice and it's coming quite naturally. I'm, I'm already sitting here going, I'm actually finding myself just naturally thinking, oh, I'll keep these. These will come in handy. They'll use up a tiny little bit of space in the cupboard. But if I need 40 little bags, or if I want to put my spices in here, the ones that are open, just little things like this. It's just good to think ahead. And it's, um, but it's amazing. I can already feel it happening of just thinking like, what can this become? This is just a box, but this is now gonna be firelighters. You know, little things like this. It's, um, I love it. It's just a start of something, isn't it? You know, you get so caught up in the concrete world of just being so busy and, and everything, you know, like just busy constantly, like distractions everywhere that you, I won't even think about stuff like this. You know, I'm gonna spend the next hour you know, of an evening, I've got no TV on, the TV's down there, not on, not bothered. I'm sitting here watching the water and the winds in the boats, you know, undoing my packaging, 
silence, you know, just very quiet. Dolly's over there sleeping, but just embracing just quiet time and just in my own little world, 38, getting excited to put a label on a spice rack, you know, undo my spices, get a little system in place, you know. Some may say it's sad, but um, but no, I'm, I'm here for it. I mean, I'm busy, I'm in my own little world, I'm enjoying peace and quiet. You know, I think being in the silence and, you know, leaning into that quiet time is so good for the soul. So, uh, I hope it's not boring for you. <laughs> if it is, just fast forward. <laughs> oh man, we love the herbs. The herbs. Sitting here, being a sad old git. I never thought I would get to an age where I am chuffed to bits with you know, putting a spice rack together. If you do single life well, there is no need to be with somebody. Hence why I've clocked up 10 years of being single. <laughs> Does uh, anyone used to watch a little house on the prairie? See, when I was younger, I, <laughs> I was being a sad twat. When I was younger, I used to, uh, all my brothers and sisters were playing out and causing havoc in Luton, where I'm from. Um, I used to love like a little house in the prairie. I used to love it. You know, like just the idea of making it homely and pot plants, flowers and a big family gathering. And you know, I used to love all that. It's, um, you just catch yourself doing things as an adult where you're like, part of it is cringe. And then part of it is like, yeah, I feel really good. I feel wholesome. I feel, I feel it feels nice. It feels nice to have you know, simple tasks to do that keeps you entertained, you know? Like, it's just, uh, it's funny how we change, isn't it? And, uh, and not being afraid to lean into that. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's just like, that's how I feel. That's what I want to do. I'm going to do it, you know? It's, uh, that's the, I think that's probably the thing of getting older, although I'm not old, I don't like to think, but I think it's the thing of getting older is, is that unapologeticness of being like, what do you do on the weekend? I just got a few Amazon deliveries out and, you know, stacked my spices up. You know, that's what I did. You know, it's, uh, yeah. Do what makes you happy, I suppose. Some people knit and crochet. Some people get off the face of drugs. And some people like to uh, organise the herbs. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I can't wait to fill the bar up. That's a more interesting task. Maybe we should try before we... Uh, fill them up you know that could be a vibe so that's how far i've got so far i just need to fill up the rest and keep collecting till i get a full um stack i'm growing some tomato plants three different types of tomato plants they will end up on the front deck eventually but at the moment they've doubled in size already since last week but uh so yeah I'm, my kind of kitchen vibe is um you know like country farmhouse and um, lots of plants lots of greenery um, so yeah, where would you put it? I'm thinking either here, next to, well, around here, so I could just pinch it and cook with it, or maybe over there. I just want it to look minimalistic and clean. Or do I put it somewhere like up here? I'm thinking that's the place for the moment. That's where I'm gonna put it for now. For here, what I'm gonna do, these are from my local corner shop, and um, it's like one of those shops that just does a bit of everything. These are only like 2 99 which is what you would expect to pay if you got from second hand from a charity shop. So 2 I've got two of them. What I'm gonna do is put um, oils in them. So I will infuse some chilies and make a really hot oil, because I do love a bit of spice. So a really hot oil in one of them, and the other one will be really, really good, strong and garlic and rosemary. I've got fresh rosemary growing in the front of the boat. And yeah, one garlicky herby oil, and then one that's really hot chili. So got a little system going on there, but it's coming together. So these are those little bags that are left over, which, like I say to you, come in perfect handy for the ones that are open that can't be resealed, which is cool. So that's my little spares box just there. So uh, another little system. So they're all the ones I can't fit in, ones that are open, and then all my clean stuff to go into the jars. So yeah, that's that job done. So just quickly, whilst I'm unpacking all my stuff, um, I got given this by my friends Mitch and Maria. So they're fellow boaters who I met from my previous boat yard. And they brought me over this really, really gorgeous, heavy, solid 
um, frame. So I'm going to put a lovely picture, I think, of either me and Dolly or just Dolly, because obviously she is my baby girl. So uh, yeah, how lovely is that? And it literally matches the wood perfectly. So uh, yeah, first gift, first housewoman present. Uh, yeah, thanks again, Mitch and Maria. That's really, really kind of you. Thank you. Do you know what I just thought? It's Sunday. I'm going to put myself a little cheeky gin, I think. Also, I unpack all these boxes. Yeah, great idea, Mr. Brown. What's your favourite drink? What's your uh, your go-to? I'm not going to lie, I do love a gin and tonic. Flavoured gin, all sorts. Do well. Cheers, beautiful people. Cheers. You can't beat it. You just can't beat it. It's a classic. Right, let's see what's next in the boxes. I actually forgot what I ordered. Um, I've got some CCTV stickers. These are to go on the boat on the outside. Um, I think they can only stick on the back. I don't think they'll stick in the front. So they can go on the boat, um, each side of the boat, front and back, left and right, just to show people that there is security cameras. Um, I have some trackers to go on the boat. So I've got a tracker for my car and a tracker for the boat. Two reasons for this. One is um, obviously security. All this stuff here is all security and gadgets and how to make my life easier. But yeah, one is security. So obviously if the boat went floating away or my car got broken into, not like it's worth stealing, to be honest, but it's more, yeah, that's one point. I can just track everything. The main reason I got it was initially when I was talking about moving my car, moving my boat, obviously I'm still working. So I'm a nightmare, and even if I'm in Hitchin in town where I'll move my car somewhere and I'll forget where I put it and I'll walk all the way to another place and that'll be the parking from the day before. I'd have to walk all the way back again and it drives me insane. So I thought, right, what I'll do, dual purpose, but what I'll do is I'll put one of these in the boat, hidden, one of these hidden in the car. And the main thing is I can then just look at my phone and if I park up randomly somewhere in the middle of a canal and I can't find where my car is, at least I can walk back to it. So I'm going to try these out. What's your experience with them? I've never used them before. Um, but I thought that's a great way, like anti-theft slash... Um, just making my life easier with never having to panic about where I left my car or if I can get to it by sort of fields or by, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to using those. I'll come back to these, though, setting these up because I'm no techo and obviously I need my phone to do it. So we'll leave these to the last of the pile. Um, security stickers, will come back to them because I need to go outside. Next thing is when I bought the boat, it had a rusty old padlock on it. So... And the other thing is you don't know who's got keys to you to your boat. Um, so I thought, start off a fresh, brand new boat, brand new bits. So I've got a brand new heavy duty padlock. It's, it's so, it's like made in the UK. It's got all these different um, bits and bobs that it says it's really strong and it's almost anti-theft or something. So good reviews. So it's, it's actually weighs a ton that it's really solid. So just basically up in the security before I leave to go on my big journey. So that's something I need to do in a minute. And then the next thing I've got here, which I'll do now, these are um, magnetic strips for the windows and doors, which I thought would be a really good idea. They come with batteries, and I think they were dead cheap. They were like a tenner or 20 quid or something. Good reviews, like thousands of reviews. And basically, that's the company, but basically what happens is they any sort of movement, these are the magnets, any sort of movement between your windows opening and your doors, um, it just means that they will go off, the alarms. So, really basic. All you do is literally line them up, stick them on. But I just thought, not so much the windows, because there's about 20 windows in this boat, but more a case of that if the doors open, if through the night someone tries to break in, at least... I mean, the dog is so good. The dog is, like, full-on security anyway. She goes mental when people even walk past the boat or the shop or anywhere I've lived. She's, she's uh, soft as anything during the day, but she is not one to be messed with it in the evening. She goes proper protective over wherever we are, which is great. I love the fact that she does that. It makes you feel safe. So yeah, so that's what these are. You just stick them on the doors and windows. I'm gonna put them on the front doors, the side hatches, the back doors, um, and they're super easy. Come with batteries, 
there's probably a little toggle you pull out, you stick them together, and that's them done. So that job is something I'll do in a second, and I'll show you. And, uh, but these are really good, so simple. Um, the advert said they're also good for stuff like, you know, if you've got a child and you worry about them, like, in the middle of the night, open up their bedroom door and creep around the house or fall down the stairs. It showed the advert of being able to put these on the back of, like, the bedroom doors of a kid. So a really good idea of using them, things like that. I was thinking more for security, but you can also use them in just making your life easier, you know, um, if you've got young kids and stuff. So good, good, good thought there. I always have a laugh with my mum because she's always going, oh, lock the doors, lock the windows, you know, what old people are like. And I say to her all the time, she's like, you never know, someone could break in. I'm like, mum, I've spent years leaving my back doors and front doors <laughs> open to let random blokes in. The amount of random blokes I've had out my house in my 20s. <laughs> she's like, there's something wrong with you, lad. <laughs> it makes me chuckle every time. She's sitting there trying not to let a bloke king. I'm sitting there like with flares going, I'm all on my own, the battery's dead and the dog's asleep. Oh, look. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> Here he is, half a jing in, and I'm sitting there going, oh, I can feel like the disco lights might come out later on. Honestly, like it only takes two sips of a jing on a Sunday. And I'm like... I need to check the disco lights work. I mean, you know, <laughs> is it just me or at this age should we know better? 38 years old and I'm a bad influence on myself. <laughs> I'm like, I just had to get shit faced. I mean, it's just, why not? I'm celebrating life, babes. I've got a new boat. I've got full security. I'm in a cupboard full of rum. I'm, I'm ready to go, babe. I am ready to go. So for those Sunday part-time ravers who have finished filling up their spice jars, he regains his uh, straight cred by getting off his face. So uh, cheers to you. Right, come with me. I'll take you to my back door. Oh, well, here she is, looking all part-time, just laying around. My little baby. I'll get that fire on soon. How gorgeous does she look? I mean... She's just like out of a model set, look. She's just picture perfect. I know I'm biased, but she is bloody beautiful, that dog. Excuse me as I waddle through this little boat. Little boat, it's massive. Right, I think I want a little bit extra with the bedding though. I don't know, I think I've gone like Henry the Eighth. Look at this. I can't wait to get into that though later on. Right. That looks wicked. I haven't even put the new covers on yet. Right, let's try and set this baby up. Oh, magnetic. So that's that all done. Super simple, literally took me two minutes to set up. Sticky back, plastic on one, on the other, match up the two arrows, set it to either chime or alarm. I don't quite know the difference, but that's that done. I'll do that, and the windows, the doors, and that's that nice and secure. It works. So on to the next quick job then. I've just literally changed over this key. That job's done, and that's another one off the list. Hey guys, so I've just made my bed. I put all the new bedding on. I can't wait to get a shower and get into it. It's gonna be the best night's sleep. So thank you, that's it for another week. I've just done all my jobs. I've just lit the fire and Dolly is all cozy, waiting for a cuddle. So I'm gonna have a nice hot shower and give that girl a load of cuddles. So I will catch you next week. And thank you so much for viewing the channel, for commenting, I'm getting loads of new subscribers. So ask all any questions and I will be happy to answer them. Catch you next week. Have an awesome week and I'll see you then. Take care. Bye bye.